Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about Plymneus, the king of Sicyon, best known for the favor bestowed upon him by the goddess Demeter. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Plymneus was a king of Greek mythology, with Plymneus most closely associated with the city of Sicyon on the Gulf of Corinth. Plymneus is remembered not for his kingly deeds, but for the favor bestowed upon him by the goddess Demeter. Plymneus was normally described as a son of Peratus, who was himself a son of Poseidon. Plymneus would succeed his father as the king of Eyalea, for this was the name by which Sicyon was known at the time. Efsavius of Caesarea describes Plymneus as a successful king, ruling for 48 years, but his personal life was less successful, for he had no heir to succeed him. Plymneus was married to an unnamed woman, but though his wife became pregnant on a number of occasions, each baby born would die as soon as it cried for the first time. Demeter observed the plight of Plymneus and his wife, and in disguise as a nursemaid, the goddess came to Sicyon. When Plymneus' wife next gave birth, Demeter took the newborn and cared and reared it, and thus the new child for Plymneus survived. This baby was Orthopolis, a son, who would eventually succeed Plymneus as king. Moreover, Orthopolis' daughter Chrysorthe will have a son with god Apollo known as Coronus. What is more, Pausanias, in the description of Greece, described a temple in Corinth dedicated to Demeter and Persephone. This temple was on the Acrocorinth and was said to have been built by Plymneus as thank you to Demeter for allowing his son and heir to survive. Let us finish with the following saying. Don't judge anybody before you hear both stories. Ancient Greek proverb. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.